Thank you, Jesus. Father, take the glory, all the glory, Almighty God. Take all the glory, all the glory, O Lord. Take all the glory, take all the glory, all the glory, Almighty God. Take all. Take all the glory. Take all the glory. For the glory. Almighty oh, God. Take all the glory. For the glory. Oh, Take all the glory. Take all the glory. All the glory. Almighty oh, God. Take all. All the glory, take all the praises, take all the praises, take all the praises, take all the honor, take all the honor, all the honor. Almighty God, take all the honor, all the honor, take all the glory, all the glory, yes, Lord, all the glory, hallelujah. Almighty God, 
take all the glory, all the glory, O Lord. Hallelujah. I want us tonight to understand that, that, that we are alive today because of the goodness of God. Hallelujah. We are able to come before his presence because of his mercy. We are able to gather here today by his grace. Father Lord, we appreciate you. We appreciate you. We thank you, Lord. Rasete kere de sete pokoro do sete rade boro do sete pokoro do kade resete pokoro do kade rade boro do sete pokoro do kade rete boro do sete kere de boro do sate. Thank you, Jesus. Rete boro do sate rete de pokoro do sate rasete kere de sete resete pokoro do kade rete boro do sete pokoro do kade. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We appreciate you, Heavenly Father. In the mighty name of Jesus. Resepo Kandi. Resepo Korodo Sitebo Kandi. Resepo Korodo Kandi. Resepo Korodo Kandi. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Tonight, we are going to return the praise to God for giving us this opportunity this year to see that the church or to see that our members, not, not one of our members, is lost this year. Hallelujah. Let's clap for the Lord. Hallelujah. And it shall be so. Even to the end of the year and beyond. Hallelujah. Let's clap for the Lord for that. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want us to look at Psalm 65, verse 1 to 3. Just Psalm 65, verse 1 to 3. Hallelujah. It says, To the chief musician, a psalm and a song of praise. And a psalm and song of David, sorry. Praise with it for thee, O God, in Zion, and unto thee shall the vow be performed. O thou that hearest prayer, unto thee shall all flesh come. Iniquities prevail against me, as for our transgression, thou shalt push them away. Hallelujah. I want us to go back to verse 1. Let's go back to verse 1. It says, Praise with it for thee in Zion. Hallelujah. I want you to tell your neighbor that. Say, you owe God praise. Hallelujah. Say, tell, tell it never again. Say, you owe God praise. He says, and unto thee shall the vow be performed. Say, you shall perform your vow. Hallelujah. Let's laugh for the Lord. <laughs> tonight, we shall praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We shall praise the Lord for tonight. Because you see, clap for the Lord, hallelujah. Let's praise him, praise him, praise him. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. God is good all the time. <laughs> we shall praise the Lord tonight because we owe God praise for what he has been doing in Christ's love ministry. Hallelujah. You, ha you don't have to come and be upset in church. Hallelujah. About what God has not done in your life. You must praise him for the one he has done already. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. God is good all the time. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want the choir to give us some songs of praise tonight. Let us praise the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Oh, my Savior, I will praise 
for the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. <laughs> you know, when you think of the anchor that God has given us this year, <laughs> and I want you as you are praising God to think of how many times that anchor has put bread on your table. How many times that anchor has prevented you from accidents. How many times that anchor has healed somebody in your home. How many times that anchor delivered you from bad dreams? How many times that anchor stopped the enemy in your life? How many times that anchor has provided financial breakthrough? How many times that anchor has sustained you in your current employment? If you think of what that anchor has done in your life, how many babies has come through that anchor? How many cars have been bought through that anchor? How many houses have been bought through that anchor? Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How many times that you have received prophecy because of that anchor? How many people did not die of COVID because of that anchor? How that COVID has stopped in Namibia because of that anchor? How that COVID, how that we do not hear of COVID on television again because of that anchor? How that the mighty hand of God has covered and silenced the enemy? And the Bible says that God swallowed up death in victory. And then they said, oh, death, where is thy sting? Oh, grave, where is thy victory? Hallelujah. My brothers and sisters, we owe God praise. Hallelujah. 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 Let's praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Woo. How many times God delivered you from poverty because of that anchor? Hallelujah! 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 Let's praise the Lord. Hey, hallelujah! 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 Let's praise the Lord. No more, no more. No more poverty. No more. Let's pray. No more. No more. Never. Let's praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Let's praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Let's praise the Lord. Oh, no more. No more. No more. Let's praise the Lord. No more. Never. No more. Let's praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh yes. Oh yes. Praise the Lord. Oh hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. No more. No more. No more. Let's praise the Lord. No more. No more. No more. Let's praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, God is good. Most of them, you didn't even have to pray for it. Hallelujah. God is in his goodness. Because you see, if you had to pray for everything you needed, there will be no time. God doesn't have to wait for you to pray for everything. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because he knows the time you were praying for the church, your child needed to be covered. The time you were praying for the ministers of God, your family needed to be covered. The time you were praying for rain, your car needed to be protected. The time that you were focused on the powers in the heavenlies, God understood he needed to secure your employment. Hallelujah. Me, me, I go worship my God. Oh. Me, I go shout hallelujah. I go worship my God. Oh. I go do well for me. I go worship my God. I go worship my God. I hallelujah. Me, I worship my God. My God, do well for me. I go worship my God. I go worship my God. Hallelujah. I go shout hallelujah. Me, I go worship my God. My God, do well for me. 
I go worship Jesus. I go worship my God. I go shout hallelujah. Me, I go worship my God. Oh, my God, do well for me. I go worship my God. I go worship my God. I go shout. I go shout hallelujah. Oh, me, I go worship my God. My God, do well for me. I go worship my God. My God, oh. I go shout. I go shout hallelujah. Me, me, me. me I go worship my God. Oh, my, my God, God, do I go yes. worship my God. I go worship my God. I go shout. I go shout. I go shout hallelujah. Me, 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 me. me I go, I go worship. Oh, my God. Jesus. My, my God, God, do I go worship my God. I go worship my Rise God. I go worship my God. I go my God. I go worship my God. I go worship my God. I go shout. I go shout My God, I go worship my God. I go shout. Me, me, I go worship my God. Oh, my God, do Oh, I go worship my God. I go worship my God. I go shout. I go shout. Me, I go worship my God. Oh, Jesus. I go worship my God. I go worship my God. I go shout. Me, I go worship my God. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. 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 I will praise you, oh my Savior. I will. Oh, Come on, praise the Lord. Praise I the Lord. Praise for my Savior. I will praise Him for forever. Hallelujah. I will praise Him. Oh, my Savior. I will praise Him. Oh, my Savior. I will praise Him. Oh, my Savior. I will praise Him for Hallelujah. I will praise Him. Oh, my Savior. Hey. I will praise Him, oh my Savior. I will praise Him for it. Hallelujah. I will praise Him, oh my Savior. I will praise Him, oh my Savior. I will praise Him, oh my Savior. I will praise Him forevermore. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. You see, there's something that was said in the anchor. <laughs> he said, uh, let me remember the first line. <laughs> I've said this so much, sometimes I'm, <laughs> I'm full of it, but then, yet, it says that, um, uh, let me remember, something about the remnant. Hallelujah. Can we see that anchor? Starting from 13. Hallelujah. He says, the remnant of Israel shall do no iniquity, neither speak lies. Neither shall a deceitful tongue be found in their mouth, for they shall feed and lie down, and none shall make them afraid. Hallelujah. There's something about that word. No, just that verse. Hallelujah. We should not be found this year complaining. Hallelujah. Because God has done so much for us. We should not be found this year. You see, when they said, a deceitful tongue... Or a tongue that speaks lies. Hallelujah. It also has to do with if you say things or you murmur or you complain, it's also part of that category. Hallelujah. It says the remnants are not supposed to be found doing so. 
they are supposed to have praises of God on their lips. That's why the next verse is there. Let's go to the next verse. The next verse says, verse 14, Sing, O daughter of Zion, shout, O Israel, be glad and rejoice with all the heart, O daughter of Jerusalem. That is what we are supposed to be doing. Hallelujah. We should not be saying, oh God, what happened to the remaining of my blessing? What happened to the arrears of my blessing? Hallelujah. When you praise God, those arrears will be released in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's clap for the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father Lord, we praise your name. We return the praise and the glory. We thank you for tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Father Lord, we shall continue to sing praises to your name. Forever and ever, Lord Jesus, ah, a thousand lips is not enough. A thousand words, a million words is not enough, hallelujah, to show our appreciation for what you have done. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Let's sing this song, hallelujah. Oh, Lord, I am very, very grateful for what... For all you have done for me, oh Lord, I am very, very grateful, and I say thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Lord. Oh Lord, I am very, very grateful for all you have done for me, oh Lord. For what you have done for me, oh Lord, I am very, very grateful. I am thank you, Daddy. If not for you, where would I be today? If not for you, where would my life have ended? If not for you, where would I be today? Oh, my dear Father, I will praise your name. Oh God, if not for you, where would I be today? If not for you, where would my life ascend? If not for you, where would I be today? Almighty Father, I will praise your name. I am a father who never, never failed me. I have a father who never, ever failed me. Jesus is my father who never, ever fails me. Rock of ages. I have a father. I have a father. I have a father. Have a father. Jesus is my father. Who never ever failed me. Rock of ages. I have a father. I have a father. Who never ever. I have a father. I have a father. Who never ever fails me. Jesus is my father. Hallelujah. Let's clap for Jesus. Father Lord, we commit this service in your hands. Thank you because you're already in control. We return the praise and glory to you. Father, as we break, go into the teaching of your word and as we break the bread, Lord, in the name of Jesus, we pray let our understanding be enlightened in the mighty name of Jesus. Let there be breakthroughs, O God. As you have spoken, Father, let it be so. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. God is good all the time. Hallelujah. I'm assuming. Uh, can you help me check if Pastor Colin is there? Is there? Okay. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Tonight we're going to be, uh, you know, don't be uh, concerned about the seat. You know, usually once it's end of year like this. Uh, our people, they have to, to go and visit their homes, hallelujah, praise the Lord. And they have to tidy up even their offices, things in their offices, maybe towards the end of the year. But uh, I believe as we pray these prayers, to reach out unto them. The Lord touched my heart that we should uh, pray a topic called possess the gate, Hallelujah. 
possess the gates. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is good all the time. You see, as we are drawing to the end of the year, God wants to release the arrears of the blessings. Hallelujah. There are blessings that God has apportioned for this year. The Bible says that he knows the thoughts he has towards us, the thought of good and, and of peace to bring us, not of evil, to bring us to our, our expected end. Hallelujah. So there's a blessing that we need to have, but there's a reason why we praise the way we praise tonight. Hallelujah. There's a reason why the Lord led us through these praises for us to appreciate. We need to have a certain kind of mindset. Hallelujah. Let's go to uh, Psalm 65 that we read. I want us to read the whole of it. Uh, and then we'll definitely have to come back to it later. So it says, a psalm, of, a psalm and song of David, praise with it for thee, O God, in Zion, and unto thee shall the vow be performed. O thou that hearest prayer, unto thee shall all flesh come. Iniquities be veiled against me, as far in our transgressions thou shalt push them away. Blessed is the man whom thou choosest and causest to approach unto thee, that he may dwell in thy court. We shall be satisfied with the goodness of thy house, even of thy holy temple. By terrible things in righteousness will thou answer us, O God of our salvation, who are the confidence of all the ends of the earth and of them that are, are far off upon the sea. Which by his strength sedeth fast the mountains, being gathered with power. We still the noise of the seas, the noise of their waves, and the tumult of the people. They also that dwell in the uttermost part are afraid of thy tokens, that make the outgoings of the mornings and evenings to rejoice. Thou visited the earth and waterest it, thou greatly enrichest it with the river of God, which is full of water, thou preparest them corn. When thou hast put so provided for it, thou waterest the ridges thereof abundantly, thou settlest the furrows thereof, thou makest it soft with showers, thou blessest the springing thereof. Thou crownest the year with thy goodness and thy path drop fatness. Hallelujah. They drop upon the pastures of the wilderness, the little hills rejoice on every side. Continue. The pastures are clothed, the pastures are clothed with flocks. The valleys are also covered with corn. They shout for joy. They also sing. Hallelujah. Can I hear shouts of joy? Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. So that scripture tells us that we owe God praise. Hallelujah. This year, we owe God praise because of what he has been doing. And if you see, if you, watch through, if you read through that scripture, you will see that it was talking about how that God, uh, that his, his acts or his, his, his ways are known to those even far up upon the sea. You know, those that go by sea, that travel by sea, those that live on islands, those that are every day, they have to uh, face what we call the, 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 the rot of nature, per se. So, the Bible says that God delivers them and then also... Throughout all the earth, the Bible says whether it's the outgoing of the morning or the evening, there's always a testimony in one part of the earth or the other. So in other words, there are some things that are happening in all the earth of which we didn't even have to pray to God for God to do them. God just does them because of his goodness. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Imagine if God has to wait for us to pray in order to manage the whole earth. You, you can imagine how much chaos will be. Because we won't even have enough time to pray for all the things that God is doing upon the earth. So the Bible says that praise waited for thee in Zion. Because of all the things that you do upon the earth, of which uh, we need to acknowledge and we need to uh, return the praises to God, for which also God does without even having to wait for us to ask of him. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So God is good. Everybody say God is good. So God continues to bless the earth. And even if you imagine how COVID ravaged the whole earth, you will see that uh, the extent, even our prayers, no matter how we even we try within our own um, within our own time and energy to pray, 
or the grace that has been given us to pray, we can see that we are not even able to cater for the whole earth. But God in his own mercies has done all these things of which we need to praise him for. Because praises is key to unlock some blessings or outstanding blessings. Hallelujah. So anytime you praise God, you are unlocking some blessings that have been either uh, being held back or that are outstanding of which we need to praise God for. So as we are going to, as we've praised God tonight, the Bible says that we, through the, the revelation of um, the Psalms, has said that we enter into his um, courts, into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So we have begun the first step of possessing the gates. Hallelujah. Everybody say possessing the gates. Possessing the gates. So let's read that scripture again. It says, enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So in other words, um, as we look at the gates, I want you to understand that God had um, made the whole earth. Say God created the whole earth. Everybody tell your neighbor, say God created the whole earth. And everything that is in it. <laughs> okay. Now, I want to toss a look at this scripture. Let's go to Psalm 24. And we're going to see how God, uh, the examples that are in the Bible about how we can possess the gates. Hallelujah. Psalm 24 from verse 1. We're going to read the whole psalm. It says, the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. For he hath founded it upon the seas and established it upon the, for, the floods. Who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord? Or who shall stand in a holy place? He that hath clean hands and a pure heart, who hath not lifted up his soul unto vanity nor sworn deceitfully. He shall receive blessing from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. This is the generation of them that seek him, that seek thy face, O Jacob, sailor. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lift, and be ye lift up, ye everlasting doors, and the king of glory shall come in. Who is this king of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your head, O ye gates, even lift them up ye everlasting doors, and the king of glory shall come in. Who is this king of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the king of glory. Selah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So I want you to see in that scripture that God, um, if you look at from verse, around from verse 1 there, 1, 2, it says, the earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof, the world, and they that dwell therein. That world is talking about that there is the earth, but there is also the world and they that dwell therein. That means that the system, the world is talking about the systems. There are systems in the world of how, you know, there is the, if you look at the systems of the world, it's talking about the, the ordained systems, when we talk about planting season, times, and seasons, and all those things, and how people can access blessings, all of those things that allow the world to operate as a system is created by God and ordained by God. Hallelujah. If you look at the next verse, it says there, and he have founded it upon the seas and established it upon the flood. Now, I want you to understand that everything that God has created that there is a method for which if you want to, they tend to have a foundation that is unmovable. And if you want the thing to be established, there is a set procedure that you must follow. If I say that God is the one that created all these things, that created everything that we can see on earth, including the systems. And he now said that, that God is the one that founded it upon the seas and established it upon the floods. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And then he now gave us example further down that scripture of how 
if you want to, something to be founded and established in your life, there is a pattern that you must follow. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And then God went on, the scripture went on and he mentioned that the first thing we should look at, if we look at from verse uh, 3, let's just read verse 3 again. He said, who shall ascend into the hill of God or who shall stand in a holy place? Yes. Continue the next verse. He that had clean hands and a pure heart, who had not lifted up his soul unto vanity nor sworn deceitfully. Next verse. He said, this person that has done this thing shall receive a blessing from the Lord and righteousness from, his God, from the God of his salvation. Hallelujah. So in other words, there is a, if you, you know that you want blessing. Hallelujah. If you know that there are blessings that you are expecting from God, that there is a way to have that a blessing established in your life. There is a way for the foundation of that blessing to be laid and there's a way for that blessing to be established in your life. Hallelujah. He said, these are the people that they are the people that are going to be able to receive from God. Now, we know that, hallelujah, this anchor has been talking about the remnant. Hallelujah. And I thank God for the pastors that have been praying on Zoom. And these pastors, they have actually possessed the gates on behalf of the, the rest of the church. But there must be a kind of a transaction of going in and out of the gate in order to get your blessings and come out. So God now dropped a key in that scripture to say, if you need your blessing to be established and you want the blessing to come from the spiritual realm to the physical realm, there is something you need to do. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want us to continue. Let's look at verse 6. He said, this is the generation of them that seek him, that seek thy face, O Jacob, Selah. Hallelujah. Whenever you see Selah in the Bible, the Bible says you must pause and meditate. Now, this is the key there. And God was saying, after he said that thing, he said, this is how you get your blessing established. Hallelujah. There is somebody that has laid the pattern and his name is called Jacob. Hallelujah. So, in other words, there's something that Jacob did to possess the gate that we need to do in order to possess the gate. Because the truth is this. A gate is a place of traffic. Hallelujah. Things move in and out of the gate. Hallelujah. So, whosoever is in control of the gate controls the movement of things in and out. For instance... Anybody that controls the gate controls the movement of people. Anybody that controls the gates of Namibia controls the movement of goods. So in other, in other words, the goods you see in Namibia has been allowed in by someone there at the port. Now that is the gate of the city. Hallelujah. And as it is in the physical, so it is in the spiritual, but you don't even need to think so far. The Bible has laid a pattern and says there is somebody in the Bible if you want to possess your gates, there's somebody in the Bible that has given and God used as an example for the rest of us if we want to also possess the gate. And remember, it says that this person, this generation that seeks his face, they are the ones that are going to receive a blessing from God and righteousness. Remember, blessing, righteousness. That righteousness refers to legal right to have those goods. Blessing from the Lord. Let's go back to that verse 5, just a, a, a step behind. It says, they shall receive blessing from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. So, not only that you shall receive a blessing, you shall receive the right, the justification to keep it. Otherwise, it cannot be established. The blessing will be up and down, in and out. You are blessed today, you lose it tomorrow. You are blessed, you are high today in the spirit, the other day you are low. Hallelujah. So it says that there is a group of people that shall receive justification that they shall get this blessing and they shall not be able to lose it. And somebody in the Bible has set the example. Hallelujah. That's why it says stop and think. Selah. That Jacob there was talking about the God of Jacob. But Jacob is really mentioned there really as an example for the rest of us. Now I want us to continue. Let's go back to verse 6. 
Hallelujah. He said, this is the generation of them that seek him, that seek thy face, O Jacob, Selah. Next verse. It says, lift up your head now, O ye gates. Hallelujah. And be ye lift up ye everlasting doors, that the king of glory may come in. There must be someone that must hold on to the gate through prayer to allow God to come in and for things to be established. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So as I'm going to be praying tonight, we are going to be possessing the gates of our family members. We are going to be possessing the gates of our blessing. We are going to be possessing the gates of 2022. We are going to be possessing the gates of our destiny. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So that when you hold the gate, you are the one that will determine who goes in and who goes out. What goes in and what goes out. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, I want us to look at quickly what, um, let's quickly look at um, what happens at the gate. Hallelujah. Before we pray. Praise the Lord. Now, I want you to look at quickly Genesis. Okay, let's look at Genesis 22 verse 17. Genesis 22 verse 17. It says, and Abraham lifted up his eyes and looked, and behold, behind him a ram caught in the ticket by his horns. And Abraham went and took the ram and offered it for a bond. No, I said verse 17. 22 verse 17. Verse 17, Genesis 22, verse 17. He said, that in blessing I will bless thee, and in multiplying I will multiply thee, I will multiply thy seed as the stars of the, of the heaven, and as the sand which is upon the seashore, and thy seed shall possess the gates of his enemies. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, I want us to quickly go to Genesis 28, verse 10 to 17. Now, let's see what happened at this gate. I said, and Jacob went out from Beth Sheba. Beth Sheba. Remember, Jacob was the example. Isn't that so? And went towards Haran. Continue. And he lighted upon a certain place and tarried there all night because the sun was set. And he took of the stones of that place and put them for his pillow and lay down in that place to sleep. And he dreamed and behold, a ladder set up on the earth and the top of it reached to heaven. And behold, the angels of God ascending and descending upon it. And behold, the Lord stood above it and said, I am the Lord God of Abraham, thy father. And the God of Isaac, the land thereon, whereon thou liest, to thee will I give it, and to thy seed. And thy seed shall be as the dust of the earth, and thou shalt spread abroad to the west, and to the east, and to the north, and to the south. And in thee, and in thy seed shall all the families of the earth be blessed. Continue. And behold, I am with thee, and will keep thee in all places where thou goest, and bring thee again into this land, for I will not leave thee, until I have done that which I have spoken to thee of. And Jacob awake out of his sleep and said, Surely the Lord is in this place, and I knew it not. And he was afraid and said, How dreadful is this place? This is none other but the house of God, and this is the gate of heaven. Hallelujah. So, the first time David, Jacob had this encounter, he understood that, the place where God, you have an encounter with God, or the place where he was, was the gate of heaven. But I want you to understand what was happening at that gate. There was traffic. There were angels going up, and there were angels coming down. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So, with that, I want you to have in mind that at the gate, there are gatekeepers. Everybody say, at the gate, there are gatekeepers. Now, those angels are not there just for Mahala. They are there to keep the gate. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So, you know what? God was saying to receive a blessing, there are angels at the gate, or what we call gatekeepers. Now, sometimes those gatekeepers are not angels that we know, angels of God. Hallelujah. Those are evil gatekeepers. But I want you to understand from that scripture, there are gatekeepers and there's traffic. And God needed to bless Jacob, and Jacob initially did not understand what he needed to do. But the next time around, when he passed by there, the Bible says he wrestled with a man. Hallelujah. And the Bible says they wrestled 
all night. Going back to that Psalm 24, we can see there why God said, this is the generation that seek thy face, O Jacob. Then he says, lift up your head, O ye gates. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Say, your neighbor said, there are gates that needs to be lifted up. Tonight, for my sake, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So we can see there from that scripture that there are gates and there are angels at the gate. So anytime you hear of any gate, whether it's the gate of finances or the gate of 2022, there are angels at that gate or what we call gatekeepers. Hallelujah. I believe maybe on Wednesday I'll have time to really go deeper. But today I want you to just use that scripture. We're going to use this scripture as we pray. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We're going to possess the gates. Hallelujah. And, and I want you to understand that um, the Bible said, to, be, to summarize, the Bible says that uh, according to the word of Jesus Christ himself, he said, I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, there are gates of hell that we know these are points of traffic or points of entry. Now, how do they possess that gate? How do they possess gates? Hallelujah. You see, they, Jacob possessed the gate through prayer, but he did something which was very powerful. The Bible says when he woke up, after he realized it was the gate of heaven, the Bible said he anointed the place. Now, I want you to understand that pastor was saying something on Sunday. He says we should pray for our family members. We're going to pray. But before you can win your family members, you must possess the gates of their houses. So, in other words, when you are going to your family house, before you enter that gate, put anointing oil on that gate. If you want to get the souls in that house. Otherwise, there is a gate. And there are angels at that gate. And I want you to understand that. Okay, let me just give you one more scripture just to confirm that there are angels at the gate. Let's look at Revelation 21 verse 12. Revelation 21 verse 12. Hallelujah. It says, And had a wall great and high, and had twelve gates, and at the gate there were what? Twelve what? Ah, I can't hear your voice. Let's start again. And had a wall great and high, and had twelve gates, and at the gates twelve, there are angels at all gates. Whether it's good angel, if you pray, your own angel will take possession of the gate. Hallelujah. And they will keep it open. That's why when the Lord came, the Bible says, lift up your head, O ye gates. Do you know who was making that statement? It was the angels of God. When the Lord himself was coming. Hallelujah. They are the keepers of the gate, but they were evil keepers at that gate, but they had no choice. That is why anytime you see a gate, there are angels there. So every spiritual gate has an angel. Hallelujah. So if you know that your family has a stronghold, there is a gate and there are evil gatekeepers. If you see that there is a problem, poverty in their life or in the house, there is a gate and there are evil gatekeepers. Hallelujah. So you need to take possession of that gate. You need to pray until the angels of God come and take possession of that gate and your goods are released. How many of you want your rest of blessing this year? Hallelujah. We are going to get that blessing. Hallelujah. Let's clap for the Lord. God is good. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So we are going to pray some prayers. And uh, maybe the next time we meet, we will go a bit deeper. But I want you to understand that we need to take possession of those gates. And we are going to do so tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How many of you want to determine what happened at the gates of your destiny? Hallelujah. Let me let you know something. Uh, anytime, you see, anytime a gate is actually an altar. Hallelujah. The enemies also, they take possession. If you don't take possession, they take possession. How do they do that? They erect their own altars. Just like now as we are talking, there are some of them back home. They are taking possession of your blessing. They are, they are trying to take possession of the blessings of the children of God of 2022. How do they do that? They erect altars. 
Hallelujah. That's how they do it. They do it. And if you don't think, if you don't believe me, just come on Wednesday. You will see the scriptures. There are scriptures talking about that. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So I want us to pray really. If you don't take the gates, they take the gate. You understand? It's not a joking matter. Hallelujah. There's no other way to take the gate except through prayer. Hallelujah. That's why God has given us Jacob as our example. Praise the Lord. Now the Bible says that we shall enter into the gate with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Let's stand up. We're going to pray. Hallelujah. God is good all the time. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Resete pokoro dosent. Rade boro dosete te 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 te. Resete pokoro dosete. Rade boro dosete te te te. Resete pokoro dosite. Rade boro dosete. Resete pokoro dokade. Rade boro dosete pokoro dokade. Rade boro dosete. Resete pokoro dokade. Rade boro dosete pokoro dokade. Rete te te boro dokade. Resete pokoro dokade. Rade boro dosete pokoro dokade. Rete boro dokade. Resete te 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 te. Rete pokoro dokade. Rade boro dosete. In Jesus name. Amen. God is good all the time. Now I want you to understand that God has empowered us to take the gates. Let's go to that Genesis 28. We're going to read, I think we stopped in verse 15. Genesis 28, let's see verse 15. 